Hey friends of Going Native, I just wanted to let you know that we are alive and well on Los Rio Street. And I know it's been a while since I've talked to you guys in the newsletter, but I just wanted to give you an update. Even though we're all doing our social distancing, we're not doing social isolation. So I'm here today in my backyard and I just wanted to show you a little bit of spring things that are happening here. But most of all, I wanted to wish you a happy Earth Day week. Uh, April 22nd marks the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And that's a way for everyone around the world to look at ways they can help Mother Earth. And while you're helping Mother Earth, you're helping yourself as well. So one of the things I'm advocating, and you're hearing a lot about it these days, are victory gardens. And if you remember that from the past, it was very popular in World War I and World War II as a way to feed our nation while we take took care of our men and women that were fighting overseas. So people around the United States, they put in a garden in their front yard, backyard, on open lots, church lots, and church lots and public parks. And today there seems to be a resurgence of it with homesteading. With this COVID-19, everybody is now staying at home and finding ways to be more creative at home and thinking about their health and thinking about eating well. So I'm saying, let's do it, you guys. Let's get behind the Victory Gardens and let's start building little gardens. And you know what? You can do it super easy if you don't have a big house, if you don't even have a house, if you just have a, an apartment or a condo, you can use a container. And I want to show you today what my daughter and I, Claire, and thank you, Claire, for filming. Um, we've been making our little lettuce and salad gardens. So we have planted romaine. We've planted a, a, a variety of romaine with the brown. And then we also did a variety of microgreens that have a little bit of mustard, a little bit of kale, and a little bit of, um, oh gosh, what else do we have in here? A variety of uh, different greens, I can't remember exactly. And we've got some kale over here. And so we just come out with these pots and these are just random pots that I've had around the house for years. I didn't go to the store to buy them. I just got random pots, created a little collection, and we come out here with our scissors and just cut out some greens. And we have a fresh salad. It's that simple. This will last probably a couple months. And here's the great news. You can order from your nursery. You can call your nurseries ahead of time, tell them what you're looking for, and they have curbside service. So you can go ahead, give them a credit card, wear your gloves, and um, you can have everything taken care of so you don't have to be uh, intermixing with the public and you can have these beautiful items ready and all the local nurseries have it. I wanna show you what also I've done. If you do have space in your yard, you can do raised beds. And I wanna show you the raised bed that I started working with uh, my grandkids. So we've got red bell peppers, corn and pumpkin happening in here. We've also been raising worms, and if you're not familiar with that, that's a really awesome thing to do called vermiculture. And again, you can start that with a small container. You can get your worms online. And that's a whole other fun thing because they eat all of your uh, junk mail. They eat your old fruits and vegetables, and it's a great way to compost, and it makes the gardens really healthy. In March, before all the rains hit, I was able to put our, our tomato gardens in. So we have created a little salsa garden with um, our garlic and onion and I am um, just growing cilantro right now. It's a little too cold for cilantro. So we're gonna have a variety of tomatoes. So just letting you know that nature is a healer. Get outside, even if you don't have a garden and you just need some fresh air, get outside. It's totally fine. Uh, you can walk with a mask, without a mask, but walking in nature is going to give you lots of sunshine, a lot of exercise, and it's gonna clear your head, clear your anxiety, and you'll sleep well at night. So thanks, you guys. I'll be back again with more news coming up the end of the month. Take care and stay well.